Hey friends, welcome to this video. My name is Mallory and I'm a mom to a newborn baby boy, a military wife and a registered nurse. Our son Max was born on January 8th, 2020 and I am filming this at the end of March, 2020, but this is his two month update video. So before we jump in, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this type of content and let's get started. So when Max turned one month old, that is when my parents left. So they were here for the first month of his life. So his second month of life is our first month solo. So just as a family of three plus our dog. And so it was, it was quite an adjustment to get used to not having my parents around. But you know, after a couple weeks, we really had our rhythm. So I do have some notes here about what I want to say. So if I'm looking down, that's why. <laughs> Max had hit, let's do medical, the medical category first. So Max had his two month checkup right after he turned two months on March 8th and he weighed 10 pounds and six ounces and it was 22 inches long. So when he was born, just for some context, he was seven pounds, six ounces. So he's gained three pounds and he was 20 inches long. So he's gained two inches. He is the ninth percentile for weight, which he did drop in percentile from his one month appointment. But the doctor said that that's fine. It's nothing to worry about yet. It's, he might just be trying to find his percentile. And as long as he's gaining weight at this point, there's nothing to worry about. And the week before his two month checkup. So when he was like almost, I guess he was almost eight weeks. Uh, he weighed 10 pounds, one and a half ounces because I had a home visit from the new parent support program here. It was a registered nurse that came and visited us in our home and she weighed him and he, so that means that he gained about five ounces in one week. We have continued to see the chiropractor every other week. So for the first month of his life, he had an adjustment weekly and then we switched over to every other week. And so he's really doing really well with that. He stopped spitting up as much. Like he'll have moments where he does spit up a lot, but the frequency of spitting up has gone down and he is having less gas. So, All right, let's talk about his developmental milestones. So he is becoming so much more aware of his outside environment. It's really, really cool to see him just looking at things. I can, def I can tell that he can see things farther away. And so his vision is improving. Around, around week seven, he started babbling more and like, talking. And when the registered nurse with the new parent support program came over, um, she, she was like, wow, he, I, I think I told her like, yeah, he started doing this like uh, almost a week ago. Oh yeah. I know. And then what? Wow. It's pretty cool. Tell me. <gasps> that's so cool. And she was like, wow, that's that's like kind of early to be babbling that, like that. She was really impressed. And I said, well, I do read to him every day. And, you know, she was like, you know, that is really great. Like that makes a huge difference. So read to your babies. It really is good for their brain. He also smiles a lot. He does have a very serious face a lot of the times too, but he loves smiling at me or at Mark and he just gets so excited to see us, especially like after when I go into him after a nap and he just, even if he's crying and then he sees me and he just brightens up, it's so cute. He can get out of the swaddle sack pretty easily. Like he can get his arms out of it pretty easily. And, but that's fine because once they start rolling from their back to their stomach, you have to stop swaddling them. And so um, I'm starting to get him used to not being swaddled and he seems to be doing okay. He's also putting his hands more intentionally to his mouth. He's kicking his legs very strongly. 
and when I do tummy time with him, he would lift his head a little more to the sides. He also started drooling more and the pediatrician said that's normal. It doesn't mean that he's teething. He had a lot of firsts during his second month and so he had his first Valentine's Day and I'll insert a picture of the little footprint art we did for Mark. He went to the playground for the first time. I mean, obviously he wasn't climbing on the playground, but we went in the stroller to the playground with one of my friends and her little boy who's three years old. We went to his first party. So it was a get together of my husband's classmates and their families. He started liking the baby carrier more. So at first he just did not take to it very well. And it was really weird because it, from what I've heard from other moms is like the baby carrier or a wrap is just magical and they calm down right away and they nap and they're quiet. But he just, that wasn't his thing. He seemed to prefer being laid down independently in a swaddle, which is, kind of weird <laughs> but in his second month he seemed to adapt a little more to the carrier I use the tactical baby carrier a lot I think it's maybe because he's grown into it and feels more secure in it we also have started educating him in a few ways so Mark has always talked about wanting our children to learn Mandarin because it's really really good for their brain so we got this board book that plays man um songs in mandarin and it's really cute and so we try to play that to him every day or every other day and then we also got a french book with um, that came with a cd of french nursery rhymes uh well i don't i don't know if they're really nursery rhymes but they're like little ditties french ditties we have him listen to that sometimes too because we would like him to learn French. I also have been delving more into Montessori. So I have been reading a book, learning about how to implement Montessori with your infant and toddler. And it's so fascinating. I just love the Montessori concept so much. And I actually bought a mobile that is part of the Montessori method for infants. And it's called the Gobi Mobile. And I'll put the link to the Amazon the Amazon link where I got the Mugobi mobile and he just loves staring at that thing. It's really, really cool. <laughs> Look who just got up from his nap. Took a couple hour nap. That was pretty good. I had to put him back to sleep about less than halfway through, but yeah. So we're talking about your two month update. You're just going to chew on your hand. That's something. So when I'm filming this, he is, about 10 and a half weeks old. So he's like two and a half months. And he is really chewing a lot on his fingers, chewing and sucking on them. Um, so he's getting really good at self soothing. So like if he in, I do put him to bed with a pacifier, but of course it usually falls out. And so he's getting really good at sticking his hands in his mouth and self soothing. So that's really nice. He doesn't suck his thumb, but it's just like his, fingers. Okay. So we were talking about first. So those are like all the new things that we've done with him. And of course, reading a lot to him. Okay. And then finally, we'll let's talk about sleep. Some nights are better than others. It seemed like there was a period of time during his second month where he just was up every two to three hours at night. And he would usually sleep longer at the very beginning of the evening but it was like way before I ever went to bed. So I didn't reap that benefit. And then near the two month mark, he seemed to be taking shorter naps and starting to be awake for longer stretches. And that has continued the past two months. But yeah, it seemed like his naps just weren't as long as they used to be. Like before he could easily take a three or four hour nap, but then they started kind of tapering off a little bit. Also during the, his two, uh, second month, he, uh, or he, I started using the Owlet smart sock with him <clears throat> because I just wanted to have that extra reassurance that he was okay while he was sleeping. And if you want to hear my initial, um, thoughts on it and the unboxing, you can find the video and the cards. I love it. I know it's expensive, but I think it's a good investment. All right, so that's pretty much it for his two month update. Just overall, he's 
so much more aware and responds more to stimuli. He also does not like having a wet or dirty diaper. He will get fussy with a wet or dirty diaper and then as soon as I change him, he perks back up, he gets happy. So definitely doesn't like sitting in crap, literally, which who would, yuck. But he generally is a very happy and mild baby. I think right now he is starting to go through like a spurt, like, you know, they go through those developmental milestones and he's been a little more fussy lately, but in that second month, you know, he was, he's just so mild and easily pleased, easily entertained. You know, every baby has their own personality and some will be a little more, um, I don't want to say tough, but <laughs> Some will be, some will cry a lot more than others and some will oh. cry less. Yeah, are you trying to talk? <laughs> so cute. He's just a very mild, mild-mannered baby, so. All right, you guys. Well, if you also have a newborn or a young baby, let me know in the comments below. What are some fun things that your baby has done or fun things that you've done with them? this past month. I would love to hear it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay safe, stay healthy. Yeah, and Max says stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Let's say bye.